Here at Qingdao American International School, our middle school and high school math classes combine several math principles in a hands-on bridge-building competition. After spending several classes talking about shapes and the strengths and weaknesses of bridges, it was time to get their hands dirty. Each class created their own company, and the general manager had to file a building permit with the Department of Transportation. The engineer designed the bridge and provided the blueprints drawn to scale. The accountant provided a cost estimation and then kept track of expenses as the project was underway. In real life, companies use multiple types of math daily. These can be seen in job areas such as accounting, engineering, and inventory control. We use this competition to give our students this experience. The available materials for bridge construction were spaghetti, macaroni, and toothpicks, bonded together only at the ends with glue. Each item had a price tag with it, and teams had to construct their bridges carefully as damaged materials were not replaced free of charge. The building of each bridge was a team effort as the engineer directed his co-workers. The method of bridge construction was left to each class. Each team took different approaches to building their bridges. And after 12 days of construction, it was time to determine just how structurally sound their bridges were and whose bridge was the best. The 8th grade's bridge was constructed using spaghetti and macaroni. The bridge platform was constructed in place with the sides being glued on last. The 8th grade's bridge won the award for the best design designed by Raoul. Theirs was tested first. Each stone weighed 4 grams and the basket weighed 16 grams. The weight of the car was 106 grams. 8th grade's bridge placed second in weight held. Hey, Clyde and Kevin, so you guys a little scared now? Really? That was Raoul put all the weights on his bridge. You think your bridge can do the same? Oh, we can't detect it. Right. <laughs> We're doing seven there? Maybe we'll work it. We'll work it. Can you go over that? Yeah. All right, here they go. Let's go. Let's go. The ninth grade's bridge was co-designed by Kevin and Klein and was constructed with spaghetti and macaroni. It closely resembles a trust bridge, known for simplicity and strength. It was placed into position only after construction completed. Theirs held the most weight and was the least expensive to construct. Their bridge won the overall competition. The 7th grade's bridge was constructed with spaghetti, macaroni, and toothpicks and was awarded the best use of all available materials. Their bridge was constructed in halves and then sides joined together at the end. Unfortunately, a toothpick gave out a little early. In all, the students enjoyed QAIS's first bridge competition. Who knows what design changes will be made next year. Stay tuned for further projects.